In a crucial hearing today, the Supreme Court took on record the report submitted by the independent committee probing the allegations of illegal surveillance using the Pegasus software. A bench comprising Chief Justice of India N. V. Ramana, Justice Surya Kant and Justice Hima Kohli was considering a batch of petitions seeking an independent probe into the allegations of targeted surveillance of journalists, activists, politicians using the Israeli spyware Pegasus. In a significant development today, the Supreme Court noted that the government of India did not cooperate with the committee and reiterated its previous stand of not disclosing whether it had actually used the spyware or not for snooping on its citizens. The bench also noted that the committee had found the malware in five of the 29 devices that were submitted to it. However, it is unclear whether the malware was in fact Pegasus. Thus, the Supreme Court today expressed its disinclination to bring the report in the public domain and instead observed that it will consider whether a redacted version can be made available to the public instead. The bench, however, said that it will publicize the report submitted by the overseeing judge, that is Justice R.V. Rivandran, who had submitted suggestions on various aspects such as protecting citizens, future course of action, accountability, amending the existing law to improve privacy protection, grievance redressal mechanisms, etc. The independent committee constituted by the court submitted its report in three parts. It contains information about the malware, public research material, material extracted from the private mobile instrument submitted to it, and various other confidential information. A file containing the responses received to the queries of the committee was also submitted today before the Supreme Court. However, the committee has cautioned that the report must be kept confidential and is not for public distribution. To provide a bit of context on this issue, the Pegasus controversy erupted on July 18th in 2021 after The Wire and several other international publications published reports on the mobile numbers which were the potential targets of the spyware service given by the NSO company to various governments including India. 40 Indian journalists and political leaders like Rahul Gandhi, election strategist Prashant Kishore, former ECI member Ashok Lavasa, etc. were reported to be the list of targets as per the wire. Back in October 2021, the Supreme Court had constituted an expert panel headed by former Supreme Court Judge Justice R.V. Ravindran to probe the matter. The court had constituted the probe committee after making a prima facie finding that the petitioners in this case had established a case. In a judgment emphasizing the importance of free speech and press freedom and expressing concerns about unauthorized surveillance, the bench led by CGI NV Ramana stated that national security ground raised by the state cannot totally exclude judicial review. Significantly, the central government had refused to disclose whether it had used the Pegasus software by stating that it was a national security issue. Rejecting the center's defense, the Supreme Court had said that the mere invocation of national security cannot give the state a free pass. The court had also rejected the center's proposal that it can form a technical committee by saying that an independent committee was instead required to ensure an impartial probe into the matter. It may be noted that the Chief Justice of India, N.V. Ramana, is hearing several crucial cases today on his second last working day. He is set to demit office on August 26th. Stay with us as we give you updates about these crucial hearings. This is Aratrika Bhomek reporting for Live Law.